Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen. The Halloween season is upon us, the time when mankind's thoughts turn to the more unsettling aspects of existence. For many, the horrors of old, witches, demons, devils, are nothing more than a cultural icon. Silly costumes or catchy logos for a liqueur bottle. If I was to ask you what you were truly afraid of, you might say something pompous and petty like disease, abandonment, or maybe even the unknown. What I'm here to tell you about today is mankind's true greatest fear. Ghosts. The most primal fear of mankind. Ever since he was able to understand his own death, he has been haunted in his darkest nightmares by images of his loved ones and enemies rising from death's door itself. Don't believe me? What about that bottle that mysteriously fell off your shelf last week when no one else was around? That was a ghost. What about that time last week when you woke up in a mess of your own fluids? What do you think Jack do off in the night? The existence of ghosts is undeniable. All you have to do is look around you. So prepare yourself tonight for an especially haunting episode of Two Who Bites. Okay, I don't know who let that guy into my studio, but anyways, ghosts. The spectral shadows sneaking through your cellar. The invisible phantoms that cause mischief in the night. In English, ghost means a lot of things that are all pretty similar, and in Japanese, the same is pretty much true. There are a lot of words for a lot of things, but the average person would consider them all to be pretty much the same thing. The one place where they wouldn't be considered the same is in Toho, because this series can never take the simple route. In Toho, ghosts are a type of phantom. The three main types of phantoms are Bo-Rei, Yurei, and So-Rei. Also a few others, but nobody cares about those. These can kind of be translated as ghosts, phantoms, and poltergeists, respectively. Ghosts are the spirits of the restless dead, phantoms are generic spirits of everyone and everything, and poltergeists are more like bodies of force than an actual creature. I guess to really outline their differences, I'll have to look at them individually. Phantom is the general term for spirits, but it's also a specific kind of spirit. Phantoms are kind of like ghost fairies, except not like actual ghost fairies, which are a thing, but rather they're the ghostly equivalent of fairies. Fairies are elements of nature, and phantoms are elements of spirits. In Shinto, there are spirits pretty much everywhere, in everyone and everything. So from these spirits, we get phantoms, these floaty cold boys. They're completely incorporeal, so they can just float around through walls and floors like putty. Phantoms aren't vengeful, in fact, they aren't much of anything. They just carry whatever emotions they had in life, which can determine what kind of phantom they are. What they are is cold. If you touch one, you'll get frostbite. But hey, for some, that's just an occupational hazard. The other main danger is that when you're around a phantom, you'll naturally pick up on their emotions. So when you're around a lot of phantoms all at once, you can literally go insane from the bad emotions you pick up from them, a process which can be imitated by spending five minutes on Twitter. Ghosts are pretty much exactly what we think of when we hear the word. They're spirits of people who died with some desires so great that they couldn't pass on to Nirvana. Oftentimes, ghosts are eventual spirits of people who weren't given a proper funeral after death. Sometimes a ghost simply returns to complete a task they were given in life, like in a month. Ghosts are usually pretty bad news, since from the outside they look exactly like living people. The main difference is that if you touch them, you will fucking die. Again, occupational hazard. Since ghosts come from dead people, the easiest way to deal with them is to find their body and give it a proper burial. This tricks the ghost into thinking that they are dead so that they will die because they are dead. What did I just say? So the last main spirit type is Sorei, or Poltergeist. Sore means noisy spirit, and that's essentially what they are. They're phantoms that can cause a big ruckus. That can range from thrashing about a room and banging on the doors to playing the lick 28 times in a row. Often, but not always, poltergeists are constructs of magic, usually made by a magician of sorts. Since poltergeists make ghostly sounds, they often end up as popular musicians among phantoms. Alright, well I've rambled on about ghosts for long enough, let's wrap it up so I can go grab some candy before the night's over. First of the two ghosts to talk about is Yuyuko Saigyoji. Yuko is the princess of the netherworld, a title that sounds like something my middle school girlfriend would call herself. Anyways, Yuko is a ghost that has the ability to manipulate death. That is exactly what it sounds like. I cannot stress this enough, Yuko's main canon ability is that she just fucking kills people. She even realized this while she was still alive, so she spent years studying the way of Buddhism to come to terms with who she really was, and to use her powers only for good. Nah, just kidding, she blew her brains out. It went kinda like this. There is no greater burden that one can bear than the life of another. 
who is worthy to walk the knife's edge between the barrier of life and death? It is an affliction that few choose and many are given. When forced to carry this weight, all will bend and many will break. In a desperate claim to freedom, this maiden chose honor and death over destruction and life. But for such a divinely tasked soul, death could not be the end. The cycle of rebirth constrained her to a tragic existence again and again, never hoping to escape her destiny as an avatar of death. On her final deathbed, an unknown soul took pity upon her miserable existence. He sealed her body within the branches of a tree, a dishonorable burial. With this, her spirit was ripped from its torturous cycle and trapped in a state between life and death. She became a ghost. With her body hidden from the world, no god or spirit could ever again lay claim to her destiny. No longer can she live, no longer can she die. In the pages between the two, she has finally found her true self. So yeah, basically she died and now she's a chubby ghosty who eats all the time and goofs around. Haha, <laughs> Toho is so cute. Now the other ghost you're probably expecting me to talk about is Yomu, but since Yomu is only a half phantom, she only gets a half mention. So Minamitsu Murasa is the ghost of a girl who died at sea. She's still pretty sore about it, so she goes around using her spoon to sink ships. I... I don't know. I... I don't know. I do not know. Regardless, it turns out that sinking major ships at sea is detrimental to the deep sea tuna economy, so humans decide to get someone to do something about it. That someone was a Buddhist monk and yokai expert, Byakuren Hijiri. Murasa decided to duke it out with this monk, thinking that it would be an excellent way to start a wrestling career. However, when Byakuren arrived, instead of dueling, she used some magic Buddhism stuff to rebuild Murasa's ship right in front of her. Murasa was genuinely touched by this display, and the nostalgia of seeing her old ship she died on brought her a change of heart. The monk asked Murasa to steer the ship once again, to which she eagerly agreed. So yeah, now she drives the boat, which is also a temple. Go figure. 